for naught by Boycott. Thomas didn't last long on this occasion either. Also out for naught, LBW to Brooks, although she didn't seem entirely happy with the decision. Dyson was out, caught by Eve Jones superbly in the final over of the bowling of Boycott. That left the score on 158 for eight. And with those overthrows, that the, the chaos that Alex Hartley brings with her <laughs> to the crease added, they managed to get up to 166 for eight. So the not out batters were Duckworth, who got 18 of 44 balls, and Hartley, who made five of three. So that is equation here. I think we've had a little problem at one point with the the stream going down so I hope you've all been able to rejoin us for the majority of that innings and I hope you'll be able to rejoin us for the second half. For now from myself Mike but James but that's for the chase.
Well, I put, what have you recorded? No. I've recorded it through the six of us. I that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. what you told me. Yeah, that's right. All right. No, I didn't tell him. I missed the signal complete. No. So, when you told me, yeah. that's when I put it off. So, unless you change it. No, no, no. I'll put it back in the corner. It's very easy for me to miss that signal because if I just happen to be writing my notes on the end of the over, because often when we come on the radio, let me say, we're doing the power play. So, when I'm in with you guys, I can hear it. But it's very easy for me to miss it. Uh, uh, let me do it in a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I don't wave at you, that's what I'm not going to do. So, well, thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Liberty Heat's number, 39. 
Don't you know? She had such a lot of bones. But he was coming and over. Remember, she was only in for five balls. And by the time I thought, I'd have to check that. Yeah. No, 39. 39. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, 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 y
Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to New Road. The sunshine is out and we have a glorious afternoon or remainder of the afternoon in prospect for you just after two o'clock and the Thunder players are making their way out to the middle. They will have 167 runs to defend. It was a, a bitty sort of innings really. Plenty of starts in there. 25 for Marshall, 27 for Boys. Threlkeld made 22. Brown, 27. There was another 21 down the list from Dyson who made it up just 24 balls which was what was needed. And the Sparks you imagine should be more fluent and, and should make this chase look fairly easy but that's always easier said than done and, and that will be definitely the thoughts between Eve Jones who I'm expecting a lot from today she's had a couple of, of little starts a 15 and a 27 so far in the competition and Gwen and Davis who made that 33 in the in the first game they will be opening the innings and as I say I'm, I'm expecting something from Eve Jones today she, she seems to the sort of player who could, could really thrive in this game and this chase of 167, Claire Jenkins. Given how, how um, brilliant she was in the field in terms of the stops and the, the throwing in, the, the run outs, she was very, you know, she got all of that right in the first inning, so she'll want to make an impression with a bat as well. And Gwynn Davis, who this time last week made a great contribution, was very busy at the crease, was keeping the runs ticking over, exactly what you want from somebody at that at the front end of that inning so let's hope she's got some more of that fizz with her this afternoon for her batting innings and and as you say to see something nice from Eve Jones. Marie Kelly was very much billed as somebody who could open but they've decided to leave her at three we'll get some thoughts on that in a moment Claire Jenkins is a very short ball start to the innings it's played away for one by Eve Jones, we've got Dyson who as I say contributed those useful runs who's begun this first over and it's one for naught after the first ball. Yeah, and I, I like the fact that they're they're already looking for the second run, which is what you want to see. You want you know, let's 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 get this scoreboard ticking over. Let's make it easier for the second half of the innings. You can get those runs on the board in the power play. Some early intent shown there then as quick little Wipe of the hand on the leg from Duckworth will be looking to get this one up in the batter's half. Again, it's a little on the short side. There's an appeal for LBW. Difficult with the angle against the left-hander for the right arm over the wicket bowler, but it's clearly worth a shout in Duckworth's view and dot ball to start going in Davis's innings. What a great surname to have, mm. cricket. Mm. <laughs> All they need now is Lewis and Stern. They've got the full set. In comes Duckworth who, along with Lewis and Stern, shouldn't be required under these sunny skies. And again, Rax Davis on the path, no room taken. Is it Duckworth or is it Dyson? It's, oh, the, the Rayner question is definitely Duckworth. Duckworth oh, <laughs> no, no, third. no, I'm talking about the bowler. Oh, sorry, Dyson, yes, you're right, actually, it is Dyson bowler. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, yes. Equally, she, equally she good name. She over and then lost it to Duckworth halfway <laughs> through there. Dyson <laughs> on her way into the crease as uh, Gwenin Davis just tries to flick down the leg side. How much bat she got on this, we will find out in a minute as she turns looking for the second. It comes through and it's gathered well. Leg buys are signalled so two of those to the total. Three without loss and those won't go against Dyson's analysis. Yes, it, well spotted. I'd, uh, I'd switched them round there in the first <laughs> over. I'd look, uh, I was looking back at it and I was thinking that's a very short name for Duckworth because it only looks <laughs> like a few letters. That was the only reason I noticed it. So uh, apologies those at home watching this. But they'll certainly look after the, uh, the par score which stands at one at the moment. Central Sparks are on three. Is this one is short and through outside the off stump. But that was a better length. That was short of a length but more challenging there. And as much as anything, the height of stature that sent David back into a crease. As the trolley rumbles its way. Perhaps so we'll just turn those effects mics down ever so slightly so we don't get drowned out. But Wheels rumbling along on the concrete floor there as Davis and Jones are in a fairly lengthy chat. There'll be cricket going on between the gap between the Graham Hick Pavilion and the, the ladies' pavilion over out on the school pitch there. The Old Vigornians 
play their cricket there. So imagine this time in September, it might be quite a tricky surface that one because I guess the school groundsmen won't have been out rolling it very much during this summer. It feels like it's now rolling as well in here. In comes Dyson here at New Road bowling. Right arm over the wicket again it seems to be off the pad of Davis. Again they're going to look for two. There's no but he down at fine leg so those runs are on offer. Five without loss the score moves to so Another 162 required for victory by the Central Sparks here. Under sunny skies, a few light white fluffy clouds. All the grey has more or less disappeared now. Yeah, and I just um, just love the fact that Davis just is trying to get runs all the time. Runs the first one fast. He's always looking for the second one. And I think that inspires whoever you're batting with to be thinking, yeah, OK, we're going to get a run. And, and the assumption should always be that you can get the run. Um, Work Boys from that backwards. Of Claire Jenkins there, former Somerset and Derbyshire cricketer, alongside myself, Mike Perkins. And we're thoroughly enjoying this, the third game for these two sides in the Rachel Hayhoe Flint Trophy. They both have one win each. The Chasers elsewhere, Northern Diamonds, require 227 for victory. They've just begun their innings, have had the South East Stars who've actually had five overs of theirs they're 15 without loss in pursuit of 210 for victory the Western Storm require uh, or have set 266 as this one is bowled to Eve Jones turns it into the leg side no single is on offer well there is now mm. because Hartley's <laughs> throw has bounced away and the batters ever alert have scampered through for a first run off Natalie Brown there so. We mentioned that Hartley was ever entertaining and uh, mm. it was a good throw but our fielders weren't quite expecting her to be as snappy I don't think. Well maybe she felt bad about the uh, the overthrow she'd claimed and she was <laughs> giving a few buzzers back but uh, perhaps not what was required from her team's point of view although I'm sure she'd maybe point the finger at the backing up as Strelk held down the leg side neat take but it will be signalled a wide ball because it's well down the leg side and the score moves on to seven without loss because the other thing at stake here is because this group really could be very tight depending on today's results it could be all down to those bonus points it certainly could as in comes Brown again and there's an attempt to work it off the legs by Davis but she can't make clean enough contact and I'm sure we'll see the signal which we do the bent right leg is raised and tapped a couple of times to indicate that the run scored does not go against the bowler's analysis so eight without loss the score in the second over of this game we'll give you the other score that we didn't quite complete there as Eve Jones hitting it and like you're saying Claire just an immediate couple of steps down the pitch Sunrise is two for two in pursuit of Western T Storm's 266 for victory, so they still need another 264 in that game in the Southern Group. Here comes Natalie Brown and left alone by Eve Jones. Just a cursory stride towards the ball, but decides on that occasion that was all that was required. And the board remains as it is. Tree still waving slightly in the distance towards the car park is brown bowls and this one's defended by Eve Jones Basil Dolivera stand in the distance there usually there will be one or two seated to watch that dot ball but not on this occasion Cathedral is away to our left looking picturesque as always and in comes Natalie Brown throws it up full almost the wrong foot of Eve Jones as much as anything but Jones was able to get the bat down on it and defend it out into the pitch and the over comes to an end two overs gone eight without loss Claire Jenkins yeah it's a proper chocolate box green isn't it in terms of the, the spire in the background the, the beautiful stands the sort of half timbered buildings we've got the hotel on the border we've got we've got a sort of semi permanent pavilion as well, we've got the ladies pavilion with the cardboard characters we mentioned earlier. Still 
Still no cakes in hand, still no cardboard cakes. There's a photographer amongst them at the moment, watching on as Dyson comes in for the second over. It's worked off the hit this time by Davis. Attempted that a couple of times in the last over and only got pad, and actually got two when it was off the pad. <laughs> only gets one when it's off the bat. Such are the, the ironies, really, of cricket. Nine without loss, the spark score moves on to. They'll be content with that at this stage to beat the Thunder for the second time on a different ground though this is technically the Sparks home game the last one even though it was at Edgbaston was the Thunder's home game a dot ball there defended into the offside of the bowling of Dyson it is still eerie though looking at those empty stands it does seem very it odd. seems more so in because there's always space at Edgbaston because it's, it's such a big capacity ground unless it's a, a test match of course as comes down the leg side appeal from Trelkeld I think it was to try and stop the signal which has come our way which is for a wide ball 10 without loss as a leaf a mm. leaf I think it is just flutters away rather spectacularly like a mm. helicopter blade there um, but yeah I mean it, you notice it more at New Road it feels because it's, it's a tight little enclosed ground that's usually so full even if the numbers aren't particularly high. This one forced off the mm. back foot. It's fielded well at cover point by Laura Marshall. And the pear tree on the boundary is absolutely full and chocker which presumably would have been scrumped by now yeah. if it's yeah. <laughs> enough people on the ground. The, the marquee I see has been repurposed as a gym as well at the moment. As this one's forced out on the offside. It's fielded in the covers there by Liberty Heap. Uh, more encouragement sent the way of Dyson. Threlkeld crouches, hands out open wide, waiting for a catch, but she won't get one there. It's one of Eve Jones's absolute favourite shots, that just forcing away, square of the wicket on the offside, bounced a couple of times over the rope, four runs added to the total 14 without loss yes I wonder how much of Sparks' thoughts will be on that bonus point because that really could come in very valuable I haven't done the calculation today but it usually comes out at 40 overs unless there's a rain interruption so that's how they that's how long they've got to, to reach the total if they are after the bonus point they'd like it because obviously the Northern Diamonds have won for their comprehensive victory over the central sparks two taken on this occasion for a little tucked shot into the leg side takes the score on to 16 without loss Eve Jones will be very happy with her start 8 from 11 deliveries here at the ground it feels much more like late summer I mean it, it felt much more like late sort of mm -hmm. autumn autumn or cold uh, <laughs> judging by what Laura McLeod was saying about how freezing cold it was at Edge Baston last Saturday so um, the, I mean there's still a bit of uh, of wind sort of ruffling the players' clothes, but it's uh, yeah, it certainly feels a bit more like proper cricket season. And we're definitely as toasty as we have been in the commentary box this season here at New Road as Gwen Davis is forward and just pushes down the offside of the pitch. And it's Hannah Jones who comes in and yeah, so picks Mike, that one up. Mike said to me, Well, we'll be outside, so I've, I've got <laughs> my winter coat, I've got several layers, and I've, <laughs> I've not. Basically you're learning, do the opposite of what I say <laughs> otherwise, because I've got it wrong both weeks so far. As in comes Natalie Brown, this is worked away by Gwen and Davis off her legs, finds Dyson at long leg, who returns not particularly kindly to Threlkeld, it has to be said, as a single goes on, 17 without loss as we look away to those trees, and actually as the sun glints onto them, you see a little bit of colour, a little bit of brown starting to emerge there, and it'll be almost the some of the colours of the Central Sparks kit by the end <laughs> of this competition you feel. But how many colours are on the Sparks kits? Quite, you know, well, there's, there's quite a few. There, if any tree uh, has <laughs> that many colours on, it's definitely been painted, I think, because the, the front of the Sparks shirt has sort of reds and oranges and yellows and almost <coughs> fades down to a kind of purpley pink at the bottom as in comes Natalie Brown and this one is played into the leg side. Hartley is there on watch. <coughs> allows another dot ball to be recorded by our scorers to our left. Yes, well when we were at Edge Baston it sounds very glamorous doesn't it to be an exec box <laughs> but actually we were a long way from the pitch and then having to have the door open to get the FX mic out so it was freezing cold. We're at 
fine leg at the moment for Natalie Brown as this one is driven away through the offside. It took a parry, but Jones is still going to claim at least two. Just and there's stops a chase it. right onto the boundary that's just made in time. It's over the top of the stumps. Natalie Brown picks up the ball. It's a long old boundary out towards the, the spy on that side. Yeah. A few one-sided boundaries in this, this competition where the rope's been out quite long on one side, but certainly Jones will be looking to spend a good afternoon at the crease here at New Road. She turns this one into the leg side. She's again looking for two, and it's very noticeable the difference between innings that uh, running between the wickets. Absolutely. Runs. The sparks has been, well, it's been sparky, hasn't it? They've, they've been yeah, back yeah. and forth as quickly as possible. 21 without loss is the result of that running Jones on to 12. Yeah, running like their name with the sparks. That, you know, definitely much more intent to get the scoreboard ticking over from Central Sparks than there was from Thunder. Sun shining down, just a motor of an aircraft above. It's a helicopter, not quite as low as a, a helicopter training centre at Edgbaston. Looks good flying conditions up there today. Dyson's going to try and fly in and find the first wicket for the Thunder here. Right arm over the wicket, back onto her stumps goes Davis, as she's often prone to do. 21 without loss, it remains. Respectfully middled there from Gwyn and Davis, who I gather is also a Wales football international. So, um, well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Multi talented sportswoman Gwen Davis back into a crease trying to pull doesn't make contact but will get an extra so that's a nice enough consolation prize 22 without loss the score goes on to as we say we've got three other games going on in this competition vitality blast also underway Kent approaching the end of their innings they have 187 with an over remaining against Essex Eagles Here is the medium paced bowling of Dyson. And this one is as good a delivery as she's put down in this spell. Fifth over of the reply, and Davis just had to be respectful of that one. As you and Yafa mentioned as well about Gwen and Davis, she's uh, head of girls' cricket at Shrewsbury School. Yeah, is he Wong's teacher? Amuses me. <laughs> Dot ball for the last ball. Oh. And Davis does well to hit a wide, frankly. That. <laughs> yes. And she's got Stretching very all of her, uh, all of her wingspan to get to that ball. Mike Perkins and Claire Jenkins bringing you the commentary here. I, I would tell you that we've had a change of link, um, although you've realised that. So I hope you've all found it. It's definitely been tweeted again. Right the Central Spark Media team and hopefully by the Thunder one too so I'm glad you've been able to find us again 22 without loss is the score here and for a need of a breakthrough the, the message amongst their, their coaching staff as Dyson comes in and bowls it was short and it's pulled away down to long leg there's a one on offer and that has been taken 23 without loss the score moves on to Davis is on to three. The score moves on to 23 without loss. It was very much, well, a couple of early wickets. You never know what you could make of, it, of this score. I, I gleaned that as I was sort of having to inhale my sandwich because I was quite alarmed to see them coming out to, to do their fielding <laughs> practice when I hadn't, uh, I hadn't managed to squeeze a bit of food in. But the picnic went down well and Eve Jones has started well here, a single against the team which is based around one of her former counties Lancashire 24 without loss to score at the end of the over yes yeah, she's home from she's home from home from home so she's <laughs> playing a, a Lancashire home game in Worcestershire for her home team the Sparks is that right something, something like, like that, that. <laughs> <laughs> some combination of those words <laughs> at least and that's the that's the way it feels it, it feels as if this is to become a, a difficult total there has to be like there was on, on Bank Holiday Monday there just has to be a couple of low scores in there just to just to bring the, the, the side that batted first back into this the, the track seems a bit better as well than at Edgbaston although it is on the low side although that's fairly typical of 
Worcester are sort of tracks in terms of bouncing to almost yeah. across towards the southwest of England and end up at, at Bristol where it is very slow and low. It's Dr. probably Ryan. probably something to do with the fact that when the river rises the ground disappears for a while, at least the green bit does. Yes, they've had flooding here again this winter, that presumably makes it quite fertile. And they yes. do stick the seed in. Dot ball there from a, a Jones defensive. As you rightly said, Claire, very picturesque. Yeah, I like the way they've left the old groundsman's hut just between the sort of the the gap between the stands over towards well, what is deep extra cover for Eve Jones who's blocked this one back out into the offside, the fielding done. And short cover by the always keen Olivia Thomas. Yes, just directly opposite us was sort of sort of half timbered so half timid if you like, building with the old groundsman's hut. Here's Brown bowling. It's to Hartley. Slips it back into Thrall Cold. Yeah, it's a black and white structure. We have a triangular roof and a clock face on the front, which is just ticking up towards half past two. As in comes Brown again. And this one is just clipped by Eve Jones. She almost happily seems to take a single to the far end. 25 without loss. It's been a very good start to this chase. 167 required for victory, remember. So that's another 142 from here. Which makes me sound very good at maths, but actually I was really <laughs> Just looking at the scoreboard, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily all the numbers were there and I managed to read them in the right order. Which doesn't always happen, as I'm sure you've realised by now. But in comes Brown and this one is clipped by Davis this time down to long leg for one run it's almost action replay of the previous delivery by the difference in height between the batters 26 without loss that board away to our left moves on to the trees continue to just sway ever so slightly in the breeze by the river seven the cathedral looking in splendid south with its kind of big semi-circular stained glass window at the top or in fact it's a full circle with two little circles next to it and three main panes to the stained glass over there and as, as we said it's a sort of picturesque postcard setting of cricket here at New mm. Road Yes, the players take a hand job break because Eve Jones played for Loughborough Lightning and Thunder in the KSL you kind of forget uh, all of those you know that what she brings to this which is brilliant and she's due to play Birmingham Phoenix in the 100. She's also played Perth Scorchers in the Women's Big Bash League. And she played in Canterbury and New Zealand, so she's had global globe trotting. The globe trotters are going to run down to the striker's end now because her partner Davis has clipped that one off her legs and there's been plenty of runs on offer in that fashion in the early stages. 27 without loss is the score is I can even yeah I can even add to that she went to the uh, she went to China and Hong Kong with the MCC oh wow as in comes Dyson again short down the leg side wide ball signalled and pulled nice and loudly 28 without loss is the score is underway in the Rachel Hayhoe Flint Trophy both these sides looking for their second win of the competition and to try to close the gap to Northern Diamond certainly if the Sparks can get a good start they'll maybe be thinking about the bonus points and try and get back up to where the Diamonds are lovely drive through the offside it was parried and it needed to be because otherwise it would have been racing away to the cover boundary but instead only one run is taken by Eve Jones she might have thought she was on for more but Marshall with the field in there. There was a great diving, took a, took a few runs off it. Just sort of a good strong set of fingertips on the ball which was long cut off. Yeah. To be fair, Davis has been given plenty of practices at that. It took her on the pads in the first over, the second over she was clipping it for ones and well now that there's into a fourth over from this end Dyson she's been clipped away to the boundary for four and Davis has just been waiting for that and will be feeling very good indeed about it. She's on to not out. Indeed. Dyson at the 
back of the run. Ponytail just blows in the breeze slightly as she comes in and bowls and this one is forced away neatly and orderly by Davis. So what do you make of that? Because obviously Marie Kelly is sort of billed on the website as a an opening batter but I guess having made 59 at 3 she'd have been quite reluctant to move from there. <laughs> yes, I remember the occasion not getting the bat out of her underhand. Dyson bowling. Oh, Williams is back. Like this. Crack this over square leg. It bounces just once inside the rope. Four runs. 37 without loss. Great shot from Gwen and Davis. She just saw the length, got back in her crease, and absolutely made the most of that. Smacking it over backward square leg for four, and it's had to be retrieved from under the covers. Yeah, lovely shot out there, just the one bounce for to that huge boundary on that on the spire side. In fact, I think a lot of boundaries had have gone for six because she. Yeah, <laughs> if it had been all the way around. It looked a small <laughs> bounce, the way it bounced once and, yeah. and disappeared over the rope. Davis again, this is a fuller ball, but she's equal to it with a stock straight bat there. Very good over that for Gwen Davis. Two boundaries in it takes the score on to 37 without loss after seven overs. Yeah, Alice Dyson, she's, uh, she was Dharmashire apparently before she went to Lancashire. I started to look at dates of birth, I thought, oh no, she wasn't born when I finished playing county cricket, so there's no connection there at all. She's only on the development programme, I gather, from whatever website I was looking at. Plenty of encouragement then for Natalie Brown. Eve Jones 